Hello ladies and gentlemen, Decimus here with a new stamina Nightblade PvP build. This time I'm going back to my roots, so to speak, and doing a dual belt bow one. First thing you should know about the build is that it's pretty much an all-in burst build, meaning that it's good for open world and just destroying people with all the damage, but it isn't that good for duels, or at least I haven't managed to make it work there, especially with Cloak being really buggy at the moment. I do have another build in the making that's going to be more balanced and focused on damage over time effects, but I still need to grind some gear for that setup. That said, let's move on to the build itself. The skills I'm using in bow bar, which is going to be your main DPS bar by the way, are poison and injection. It's part of the main combo with this build, it deals really good damage, especially when the target is at low health and very often secure skills. Relentless focus for some extra damage and sustain. You can also proc this special attack quite often with the bow light attacks. Shadow image, it's currently a bit buggy, but also a lifesaver when you manage to juke people with it. Synergize well with the bow build as well. Lethal arrow, your main damaging ability with this build. It's used especially as an opener, doing huge amounts of damage and putting a heal debuff on target. Um, previously we would not pick this morph because it didn't scale with mighty champion passive, but that changed with the Thieves Guild update and now the champion passive increased poison damage as well. And lastly, Manifestation of Terror. This is a skill that was recently changed with the Thieves Guild patch. I've been experimenting with it quite a bit, and uh, I'm still in the process of learning the proper use of it, but I think it has some good potential, especially for a bow build like this. The traps you spawn last 69 seconds, so there's a lot of plays you can make. As ultimate here, Flawless Downbreaker, simply because it uh, passively increases the damage we deal. Next we have the Dual Wild Bar. Shuffle, this skill adds a lot of survivability with the plus 20% dodge chance and it can also be used to remove snares, which is very nice. Vigor, a must have on every stamina build if you are to stay alive in PvP. Shadowy Disguise, very buggy at the time of this recording, but it still finds its place when we try to avoid contact. For example, after killing a target and before you manage to restart by sneaking. I've chosen this morph over the other because this build naturally has a very low crit chance and uh, Shadowy Disguise actually makes all your Vigor ticks to crit while you're cloaked. Piercing Mark, useful against Nightblades and also boosts the damage of your bow burst if you place it on the target beforehand. It can be tricky however because people usually start blocking when this happens. It's mostly on this bar to activate passives from assassination skill tree. Surprise attack. I think this skill is still very good, even with the buggy cloak. If you are using Maelstrom dual wield weapons, it might be worth slotting rapid strikes instead, which deals very good damage this patch when you have points in Thaumaturge. The ultimate on dual wield bar is the Werewolf Berserker transformation and it's very crucial to this build. It's basically how you survive and kill people when you aren't in a position to deal ranged DPS. With Werewolf you get a gap closer, a cone heal debuff and a dot, a decent self heal and weapon damage buff, an unblockable fear and a short range nuke with a knockdown, which deals increased damage on people that you have feared, and that can combo nicely with the Nightblade Fear Trap as well. During the transformation period, which lasts for 2 seconds, you are immune to all incoming damage and you also fear the people nearby, opening them up to some serious burst damage. So those are the skills I'm using. The gear I use is 5 pieces of alchemist. This significantly increases the burst damage of this build. Important to notice that you only need 5 pieces on one bar as the buff carries over when you swap bars. 5 pieces of marksman. Again, the idea is to improve the damage we deal, so this set is just ideal for the job. You also get 2 regen bonuses, which help with sustain. 
Also, since the 5 piece bonus increases bow damage only, you should get the 5 piece bonus only on the bow bar by using marksman bow in order to save gear slots. Lastly, with all the gear slots saved, you can slot 3 pieces of agility as well to deal even more damage. The traits are divine on all armor pieces in order to get that extra crit damage. Impenetrable is also a good option, but I feel that it's less valuable in the long run for stamina night blades, especially who are focused on avoiding that damage altogether with cloak and or roll dodge. Though at the moment with cloak being buggy as it is, uh, impenetrable could be the better option for gear. For weapons, I have sharpened trait on bow because we already guarantee crits with both sneaking and shadowy disguise. Same with dual wield bar, where I use an axe to often get a really big dot on the opponent and a sword to increase that dots and everything else's damage by 2.5%. So that's the gear in all its simplicity. As enchants, I still use the trace at once, since having magicka for cloak and shadow image is very important, and the extra health helps you survive burst damage from other players, especially when you run without impenetrable. The champion point allocation has also changed a bit since the last time. I now split my points between precise strikes and thaumaturge for maximum benefit. And I've also decided to put more points into Hardy, since physical damage is usually more of a problem than magical one. And uh, that wraps it up, I think. Uh, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.